Why, hello there. So I haven't filmed a favorites video in, I don't know how long, months and months. I think my last one was in April of this year, so I missed a few months. <laughs> but I definitely want to share with you guys some of my favorite things that I've discovered the last couple of months. And so this will be my November favorites. There's going to be a wide range from alcohol to accessories to makeup, so I hope you guys enjoy it. So if you'd like to see what my favorite things have been, just keep watching. So first thing I'm going to talk about is a drink, and I always put this on my Snapchat, on my Instagram story. I love this stuff. You guys have probably seen this if you've been following me even for a couple of weeks now. This is called kombucha, and it is so delicious. I can't even begin to describe how delicious this stuff is. But it's very good for your digestive system, which I've had some digestive issues, and this has made me feel so good. And for me, this is better than coffee in the morning. I'd rather have kombucha and get that natural little kick than to have coffee because also coffee gives me heartburn. But besides that, <laughs> you can find this in ShopRite. You can find this in Hannaford. I'm sure any grocery store that has a natural or organic aisle, this will usually be in the fridge there. And I've been drinking this for probably two or three years now and I love it so much. And I have two favorite flavors. My first is this one called Cosmic Cranberry and the other is called Guava Goddess, I believe. And it's funny because this is uh, fermented mushroom juice, essentially. I know it sounds disgusting, but it's very... I guess it's an acquired taste because I've had friends and family smell it and taste it and they're like, nope, you can have that. <laughs> Which is fine, more for me. But I just find that it makes me feel really happy and energetic and it makes my stomach feel better. So it's a win-win situation for me, so I love that stuff. I think I mentioned this wine in my chit chat video. And this is the wine that I was drinking at the time. And as I've told you guys, I can't really drink wine anymore because whatever is in it to preserve it gives me headaches. But I am so excited that I've been able to drink this wine twice now and with no headaches whatsoever. And this is the 14 Hands Winery and I like it even more because it has horses on it. And it made me a little sentimental too because as some of you guys know, earlier this year my horse passed away. And when you measure horses heights, you don't do it in feet, you do it in hands. And so my horse was 14 hands high, or 14 hands tall, so this is also kind of like a little sentimental to me, but I really like it. It's a great tasting wine. If you're into red wine, then I highly recommend this one, and if you're sensitive to tannins, it doesn't give me headaches, so it's a great wine. <laughs> now in terms of skincare, I really have been loving this Beauty by Earth still. I'm still using it. Amazing. But this is a really great facial cleanser, and I found that I keep this in the fridge, and it's how you're supposed to keep it so it stays fresher longer. And I tend to stay out late a lot of times, so when I come home, I don't really feel like doing a lot to take off my makeup. So it's nice because when I come in, my front door is right by my fridge, so I just literally go in, grab this, and then go to the bathroom, splash it, you know, on my face, and my makeup's all done, and I'm ready to go to bed. So it's really nice to just have that in the fridge handy. And it's cold, which is refreshing. And my other thing that I've been liking in terms of skincare is I always, always use this Beauty by Earth lip balm whenever I do tutorials, whenever I put on my makeup in the morning, just because I find that this has been the best lip balm for me personally. And I always like to moisturize my lips before putting on liquid lipstick, especially because I love the Kat Von D formula and those tend to be super drying. But I find that if I put this on first, then do my foundation, eyeshadow, eyebrows, everything else except for my lips, and then I wipe this off at the end, this tends to help in moisturizing my lips. So I'd really recommend this little guy if you have that same issue. And I did do a video on Beauty by Earth a little while back, I'll link it in the cards or in the description box somewhere to see you guys. If you want to know more about this company, then you can get a little bit more in-depth look and review on how it works. Now, another thing I've been doing for skincare lately, which is kind of unusual, is what's called an ice roller. And it comes in a bag like this. And this is something that I'd never heard of before Instagram. <laughs> and apparently, I really love it. This is what it looks like. It has like a stainless steel little bit here and it rolls. So you roll it over your face or your hands or whatever you want. And how this works is that you stick it in the fridge, as you can see, because it's very icy. <laughs> but you stick it in the fridge in the little baggie, and then whenever you want to, I guess, just relax. At first I was worried that it would be too cold and that it would make me cold, which I hate. I can't stand being cold. But this is really nice. I really enjoy it. And I got this off of eBay for probably 10 or $11. I first saw this on someone else's Instagram, a beauty influencer, and she was saying, oh, this is from this company. This is great, amazing, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay, let me look into it. So I clicked on the link in her bio and it was $40. 
I was like, no, 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 there's no way I'm paying $40 for something like this when I can find it on eBay for 10 because it's the same exact thing, does the same exact thing, and it's just, why spend 30 extra dollars when you can get this for cheaper? And I just really enjoy it. I do it when I first get up in the morning to kind of calm down the puffiness under my eyes, and overall, it just feels nice. <laughs> okay, so on to accessories. So my first one that I've been really enjoying is this choker I'm wearing. This is from Kitty Smile Shop. I'll just link everything where I've gotten it, where you guys can get it, down in the description box. But Kitty Smile Shop is run by two ladies. One of them I actually knew in college, which was neat. So when they reached out to me, I was really excited. And these are really, they sell really cute, affordable jewelry and chokers. And this is one of my favorite things that I've gotten from them. It's very glamorous black velvet choker with a pearl decal in the middle. It attaches with velcro in the back. But they've sent me several necklaces and chokers and I found everything to be pretty good quality and they're very comfortable. So. And also two other things from Kitty Smile Shop. They sent me this really cute care package just recently and they made me this really cute vessel of blood bracelet so thank you. And then this, oh my gosh, this bracelet though, it is like blood drops and it's so gorgeous. I love it so much. So thank you. This is my new favorite bracelet of all time. <laughs> Another really cute choker that I like is this one from Six Feet Deep. And it has a little pumpkin guy on it. And he's made of plastic. Also, there's a black velvet choker with this one. And I really like how he has that kind of dripping effect. And he's so cute. And also from Six Feet Deep, I got this really cute little pumpkin jack-o'-lantern ring. It's adorable and it's an adjustable ring. So if you don't know your ring size, this guy's perfect. This is another new favorite choker of mine, and this is from Vice X Virtue. I'll link their shop down below, but it's a really cute faux leather choker, and I like it because it's very comfortable, very simple. And then my final and most favorite choker of them all, this is an awesome bloody cleaver choker from Worship 13, and this is always my go-to choker lately. Whenever I go out places, I always reach for this one, and people are always taken aback by the fact that I'm wearing a bloody choker. <laughs> so as far as jewelry goes, I guess you could say that's it. I do have one more accessory that I wanna show you guys, and that is from grills.com. <laughs> and it is a custom pair of silver fangs. Look how cool these are. I had to send away for these because they do them custom. So I did a little mold of my mouth, as you can see my upper teeth, and this comes off. But this was what they used to make sure that they would fit exactly onto my real teeth. So these are them. They have a little backing thing to make sure that they stick tight to your teeth. I think they're awesome. <laughs> it's funny though, I noticed with my other regular scarecrow fangs that I don't have a lisp. But with these I do, and I think it's because I'm not used to having that little bar in the back of my front teeth, because that's what keeps these on but I really like the way that they look and as you guys have noticed probably in my Instagram, oh my gosh, my lisp is so bad, <laughs> but as you guys have probably noticed in my Instagram and Snapchat, I've been using these for my lip sync, lip swatch videos of product swatches, so I really enjoy them, but obviously I have not worn them out because I have a terrible lisp when I do so, but I really enjoy them. And I do have a discount code with Grills. I have a discount code with a couple of people. Some I do make, you know, money off of a sale and some I do not. With this one, I wouldn't make money off of a sale. And I don't know how you guys feel about that because I've been telling companies that I don't really like pushing codes on you guys because first of all, you guys don't really use codes, I've noticed. And second, I don't want to make you guys feel like you have to buy anything because obviously you don't, but it does help me sometimes if you guys use my code. I don't know if you ever want to buy anything, but if you do, you know, just keep that in mind because that helps me to continue to get these products to review for you guys. And now on to makeup. So my first thing I want to say is that this company named Baby Bat Beauty, their new highlighters, I think these are their, their two ones that I own. This one is Starlight and this one is called, shoot, I forget what it's called. I'll link it on the screen so you guys can see what it's called, but they are my new favorite highlighters. Oh my goodness. And Starlight is this one here. It's so bright and blinding. The camera probably isn't even picking it up, but I love it because it is my most blinding white highlight that I own. And I'm, I am wearing it today. As you can see, the camera can't focus on it because it's too bright. <laughs> but if you guys want an affordable white silvery highlighter that makes you glowy and not glittery, I really recommend that one by Baby Bat Beauty called Starlight. And I've noticed the last couple of months, my go-to palette, say if I'm going to a sleepover, if I'm going on a trip, has been this Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's Place. I love this palette because, ooh, 
it's all dirty. <laughs> simply because of the wide range of colors and I love that you can use this shadow here called Zuri as a highlighter and it's just such a beautiful bunch of colors and I love that all of them have performed really well so far and my favorites are Jezebel and Morocco and I've used these two together in an eyeshadow look and it's beautiful and I also like that they have matte shades and shimmer shades or metallic shades and that they're not all the same colors or the same consistencies. I know that there has been some, I guess, controversy about Juvia's Place. I know I've seen a lot of people complaining online about their customer service, that they've been nasty or that some drama has been going down. I personally can't speak to that because I haven't experienced anything myself. I haven't really seen anything that's been happening, only what other people have said. So. I think it's up to you guys if you want to support them or not. I'm just mentioning them because I love the way the product itself performs. I don't know anything specifically about the owners or what's been going on. But if you don't want to buy this palette, I completely understand because that's how I feel about Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I feel that I can't really support him because of the things that he's done and his lipsticks aren't the greatest. So... I know that's why I know I've mentioned a few times that I don't support him anymore and you guys have asked me why that's why <laughs> but the reason that I love these shadows besides the fact that they have immense color payoff is that I've used them when I was really lazy one day and I discovered this by accident I was late for work I wanted to throw on some makeup and then I didn't put any primer on any you know kind of base for my eyeshadow color I just put those colors on straight onto my eye and they stayed on the entire day and it was insane they didn't crease they didn't move i was like is this how is this happening i have nothing no primer or anything for it to stick to except my skin and it was just really neat so i really like that palette now, a lot for my favorite lipsticks of all time because they're absolutely amazing is my ebony cosmetics lipstick collection i think i own almost all of their lipsticks so that's quite a few as you can see i have more than i can hold i have i think three or four more sitting on the side there but they are fantastic i love them so much but in terms of liquid lipstick and i've tried quite a few formulas and quite a few brands they are still the best in terms of wear, colors, I mean everything is perfect. I've worn some of those colors all day with no cracking, no flaking, even when I eat. I will say though some colors tend to come off more easily with food than others and the lighter ones do tend to be less noticeable when they do come off but that's the same for every liquid lipstick. But some of them, I have to say, their formula is bulletproof. I have had a hard time getting it off at the end of the day rather than having to worry about it cracking off, flaking off. It reminds me of the LA Splash formula, but it doesn't crack and crumble off after a few hours like theirs tends to do. And even if you layer a couple of layers onto the color, it still will stay the same, which is amazing. I'm just the biggest fan of their company. I think they're amazing and I'm so excited. We have talked them into making a black lipstick and I'm so excited to see what she comes up with. The owner of it is amazing. She's so sweet. I've been talking to her for months now, but she did tell me that it's not going to be a typical black lipstick so I'm excited to see what she comes up with because she has some amazing colors. These are two of my personal favorites. This one is called Misfit and this one is called Sweet Escape and this is one of her more unusual colors I think. This is one of her first metallic lipsticks and it is so gorgeous. I love it. It's like a steel toned... I don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Just look at it. I've bought several of them for Christmas gifts already so I'm really excited for that this year. And then to finish up my favorites video, I have my favorite song at this moment. This is my best friend Becca's fault. She showed me this song and I don't know if any of you guys have heard it. It's called The Death of a Bachelor. It is by Panic at the Disco. And this song, it's just so different from everything else that they make. It's very Michael Buble, very jazzy, very, you know, kind of a smooth, sultry voice. And I've been obsessed with it. I've been playing it on repeat at work, when I go home, everything. And I'll show you guys a little snippet of it. So yeah, <laughs> that is my favorite song at the moment, besides Pentatonix, which I mentioned in my last video. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy all of my favorite things this month or last month, and I will look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Have a good one. Bye!